What's up, people? Welcome back to another Lost Recollection Guide. This time, I'm gonna go over how to get the bracelet. So, a lot of people have been asking for it, so here's the uh, guide for it. Um, in order to get this piece, you have to do the Array 2, which is the Miasma. It is right here. Um, the entrance, and then you go into the shrine. I don't recommend to do it online, um, this method, because the enemy is really, really, you know, tanky, so... It's like a one mini boss and then two mobs. That's why I don't recommend to do it online. I mean, if you want to do it with other people or farm it, you know, farm with other people, because this might, might be a lot better, especially if you fight it yourself. It might be a little bit longer fight, so that's why this one it's not a uh, it's not a chest. You just go pick it up and then leave. This one you actually have to kill things before you can get access to the chest, so it's guarded. So I'll show you guys where it's at, and then it's pretty much right here. This is the chest you want to get to. Like You have to use the whip to get over there. As you can see, there's like a protection. In order to clear the protection, you have to kill all these mobs, so... Yeah, it's not easy, like I say. So I'll kill them, just for one time, um, technically. Um, I don't have to. I don't have to kill him at all. I didn't just tell you guys where to go. It's literally right there. But for video purpose, I'll kill him. I'm. St I'm just using the same thing as. Uh, I'm just using the same thing as uh, the one that I use for Helix. But I do recommend if you're doing solo, to draw them over here because it's a lot easier. If you want to fight three at a time, not fun. It shouldn't be too bad to clear out the first two mobs, it's just the last two is gonna be a little bit annoying. The other thing is you have to watch out is don't throw the knife when they're close, because if you throw it over there, it's gonna hit both of them. So, this one is not a fast farm unless you do it with multiplayer with other people solo, in a few minutes, it depends. That's why it's like, like I said, it's not really recommended to do so low, especially if you want to get a passive and stuff, this is like a pretty lengthy farm. I mean, I was farming on hard difficulty, um, so you can try on death game or whatever, but it's just that it, it is a little bit annoying. Like, you see, like, sometimes it's like, it's buggy and this guy won't move at all. It's just, if I'm throwing a knife over there, I'm going to get both of the macro at the same time. So it's kind of like, it's kind of annoying. So I'm just going to sit here and wait a little bit, wait till this guy move. There you go. Come over here. So feel free to rebuff if you need it, because it's not really a not really a big deal. Time for that. Oh, was that a? Uh, that must be a uh, unison finish arm. <laughs> yeah, I'll show that at some point too. It's pretty cool. So two down, one more guy left. This is the one you really need to worry about. It's the most tankiest out of all of them. All right, here we go. I didn't time my chain there right, but it could have hit a lot more. It's okay though. Yeah. 
There we go, that's a good chain there. That's why I say it's not as it's not it's not like soup it's not like easy to fight this guy because you kind of have to <laughs> get the mind break miss slow. It's gonna do buff a little bit. It's also pretty tanky as well. So yeah, the next down should be done because it usually takes about I uh, say two to three down. So yeah, basically, just kill him and then you have to, and then open the chest. It takes about like a few minutes. Not the per not the perfect runs, but it's good enough. This one you can get the cloak, um, the uh, a charm, and a I mean not a charm, a talisman, and then an armor. So, and then after that you clear that this will open. Then you can loot it. Yeah, it's gonna be like the one of those herb chests again, and yeah, it's kind of annoying. But if you don't get it, you have to run all the way back if you're playing offline. So this is why I say sometimes it's good to play multiplayer. If you don't, if you don't have like, if you don't have on like a multiplayer, then this is what you have to do. You know, run back here every time. So it's kind of annoying. But yeah, that's pretty much it. That's how you will get the um uh no, <laughs> this is how you will get the bracelet. So. It's not an easy farm. That's why I say it. I said it earlier when I make the other one. It's not. It's not fast at all. It's gonna be a little bit of mobbing requirement and setup because it is a ray after all. Especially if you want to play on higher difficulty and trying to get the passives. Yeah, you're gonna have to be able to kill it. That thing has twenty something million HP, so it ain't. Um, it ain't. It ain't small. So. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it.